Howdy. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Roman Papaduke, and I'm the executive director of the George Bush Presidential Library Foundation. On behalf of President and Mrs. Bush, it is my great pleasure to welcome you to tonight's special event honoring the memory and legacy of a great American, Bob Mossbacker. Bob was a great businessman, an outstanding sailing enthusiast, a philanthropist, and a public servant, and we miss him dearly. As Secretary of Commerce under President Bush, Bob was instrumental in expanding U.S. trade opportunities overseas. He was the lead cabinet official supporting the North American Free Trade Agreement, which created the largest unified market in the world. Bob's political activities, particularly his fundraising capabilities, are legendary. Indeed, President Bush has said he would not have been president if it had not been for Bob Mossbacker. For the students in the audience, there is much to learn about leadership from Bob's many activities. So I trust you will find this a particularly rewarding evening. Bob's dedication to education was evident from his support of the education programs at the Bush Library, particularly his efforts in helping to attract students from the Houston area. His public service and support of education were recognized with the creation in 2009 of the Mossbacker Institute for Trade, Economics, and Public Policy at the Bush School. The institute focuses on domestic policy challenges that face the United States and serves as a vehicle for learning and research. We have a number of special guest speakers today to honor Bob's memory. We are honored to have the First Lady of the great state of Texas, Anita Perry. Also joining us is Jim McGrath, co-author of Going to Inward, a Mossbacker family memoir, which he will be discussing later on this evening. I want to take this opportunity to also recognize a number of other special guests. Ambassador Ryan Crocker, Dean of the George Bush School of Government and Public Service. Is Ryan here someplace? He's back here, okay. okay. Um, we have uh, the director of the Mossbacker Institute, Professor Jim McGrath. Jim, uh, I'm sorry, Jim Griffith, I'm sorry, Jim. Uh, okay. You could go by McGrath if you like. <laughs> I've got you a lot of publicity now, that's for sure. Uh, Bobby Holt, member of the Board of Directors of the Bush Foundation. Bobby's over here. And uh, Ida Clementstein, member of the Texas A&M System Board of Regents. Ida's sitting right over there. Thank you for being with us here tonight. At the conclusion of the program, I ask that you join us in the lobby for book signing and reception. Uh, our program is being live streamed on the Bush Foundation website, and so a special welcome to our web viewers. I mentioned that Bob had a successful career, but no part of his life was as important as his family. Bob lived for his wife and children. I am glad that his wife, Mika Mossbacker, will be one of our speakers tonight. Also joining us are two of Bob's children, Rob Mossbacker and Lisa Mears. Rob follows in the finest traditions of his father. Rob is currently chairman of Mossbacker Energy Company in Houston. Under President George W. Bush, Rob served as President and Chief Executive Officer of the Overseas Private Investment Corporation from 2005 through 2009. The corporation is an independent agency of the U.S. government that supports private capital investment in emerging markets around the world. Rob also serves on various boards, including Calpine Corporation and Devon Energy Company. Rob was Chairman of the Board of the Greater Houston Partnership in 2004 a private nonprofit organization that serves as the city's chamber of commerce. Early, earlier in his career, Rob helped launch the Reagan administration's private sector initiative program and was appointed by President Reagan to three successive presidential task forces on private sector initiatives during the 1980s. He served on the board of the Texas Department of Human Services from 1987 to 1991 and as its chairman from 1989 through 1991. During the 1970s, he worked on the staff of Senator Howard Baker of Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm welcome for Rob Mossbacker. Roman, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. It's a, a treat, delight, honor to be here. Uh, we have several people following me, and so uh, I want to be judicious with my time. I, I want to thank several people. First, as you uh, have a chance to look at Dad's book, and I commend it to all of you who haven't, uh, haven't seen a copy yet, what is very, very clear 
uh, throughout the book is the importance in dad's life of George and Barbara Bush. And uh, the president was kind enough to say maybe he wouldn't have been president without uh, the help my father and many others provided in the way of helping uh, raise the funds necessary to run a competitive presidential campaign. Uh, but, you know, what, what we would say to that is uh, that there was no greater honor for dad uh, than to have served with President Bush and to have been part of that team, and he loves, uh, loved both of them uh, dearly. And I would say as well that um, uh, he, uh, when, when I have people write letters to me who have seen the book and read the book, they sort of provide the highest compliment possible uh, to not just Dad, but also to Jim McGrath, uh, the author of the book with Dad, and that is that they say it's Bob talking. It's, I can hear him speaking. And that capturing that sense of, of Dad is, uh, you know, sort of the essence of what you're trying to do. Uh, today, President Bush and, and, and Jim Baker were at the Houston Club in Houston having lunch. I happened to be there. They were there with uh, former Mexican President Salinas, who I went over and introduced myself to because he was president when Dad was Secretary of Commerce and, of course, during the Bush 41 administration, and, uh, and I wanted to tell him how uh, respect he was and how much Dad enjoyed working with him and with Jaime Serra, who was his commerce sort of counterpart in Mexico. And he said, well, I want you to know, he said, when, when we mention Bob Mossbacker's name in Mexico, people smile. And I said, well, you know what? <laughs> people smile everywhere when you mention Bob Mossbacker's name, which is a wonderful compliment. And Jim McGrath captured that. He captured the essence of that, and I want to thank him uh, for the great pleasure it was to work uh, with him and help uh, watch him both humorously and meticulously uh, research the book and put this story together, not only about Dad, but also about Dad's father, our grandfather, Pop, who was a unique person of the first order. So I want to thank Jim for that, and uh, finally, Dad's uh, honor in last fall when President Bush decided to create this institute could not have been uh, appreciated by those who, who didn't know how much uh, trade and economic and public policy meant to him, but particularly trade. And so the dedication of the Mossbacker Institute here at, uh, at the Bush School uh, was, again, one of those unique and extraordinary uh, treats that Dad uh, uh, would thank the Bushes for and then said, and by the way, uh, we want it to be second to none. And if you're talking about creating uh, an institute and, a, and a, a school that already exists but could be second to none, you couldn't do any better than to find the dean uh, that, uh, that they found to come in and run uh, the Bush School. Uh, in the four years I spent, three and a half years I spent in the, in the last Bush administration, uh, I had the privilege to work with Ambassador Ryan Crocker in his role as ambassador in Pakistan. And uh, before that, in his role uh, in, uh, or after that, actually, in his role in Iraq. And uh, it goes without saying, there are no other diplomats in the American Foreign Service that command the kind of respect that Ryan Crocker does. Uh, this is a man who spent 37 years in the Foreign Service, uh, who spent years not just in in Iraq uh, and in Pakistan, but also helped uh, kind of open the embassy in Afghanistan. Wherever there's trouble, wherever there are priorities, wherever our country needs its best, uh, Ryan Crocker is sent. And uh, as a result of that distinguished career uh, and having served in several other diplomatic posts, uh, he's been the recipient of, of Presidential Medal of Freedom uh, recipient of an award recently announced by uh, Hillary Clinton uh, for those who exhibit uh, not just great leadership but great courage uh, in environments that are challenging. And so uh, when I heard that uh, Ryan Crocker had been selected as dean of the Bush School, uh, I couldn't think of anything that would do more to guarantee the success of the Mossbacker Institute. Uh, than to have Ryan Crocker here as dean. So it is with uh, great privilege and honor that I present to you the dean of the George Bush School, Ambassador Ryan Crocker.